This tutorial concerns using the YouTube annotator to create subtitles in a foreign language video. So first of all, you go to your channel, and this is my channel, and if you have your own channel then you can do this for your own videos. I want to go in to my videos and choose the video to be annotated. So I'll choose this one. So Godard film. Okay, so there he starts to talk. So now what I want to do is go to Edit Annotations here. As you can see, this is a, a video that I've used for the purpose of the adjectives. So you go into Edit Annotations, and the video will start again. Here you have the timeline of the video, and what you want to do first of all, is go to close to the point where one of the characters starts to speak. So I know from past experience of watching this video that it's about here. Now you go to this annotation uh, little tool and you click on plus, which means add an annotation. And then you select this type. This is a note and as opposed to bubble, it doesn't have the little bubble thing that would uh, point towards a person. You could use it in a, for another purpose, I'm sure. But for the, uh, this purpose, this annotation is the best. So you can make your annotation as big as you like. Let's just do this since it's a dialogue. And I press play. Before going on, you can see that basically when I press the annotation, it creates this little separation. And this, in fact, is how the annotation will survive on the timeline. So it will go up to seven seconds for now. We'll see. Okay, so this is Belmondo's line. Pourquoi vous m'attendez? Okay, and you bring the subtitle all the way down here, and it will default. They will default to being in white, and try to have the the annotation more or less in the middle, basically. Okay, once you've done that, that character has just spoken, and you can drag this, the timeline of the annotation back all the way because. If you drag it back to the left, it won't go past the cursor of the of the video. Okay, so now we go on. Okay, so Anna Karina has already started speaking. And I want to get her before she starts speaking. Sorry, so We'll just go back to a Belmondo. A good way of doing it is just going back and actually, you can actually see what's Pourquoi happening. Okay, so we know now that Anna Karen is going to come in and, and speak. And what you do is that you add another caption. And now we'll figure out what Anna Karen has to say. Okay, so we can drag that back, and don't be scared to drag it back as it won't go past that point. Parce que j'ai des choses importantes à faire. And again, we drag it down here and put it more or less in the middle. Okay, and then we carry on. Um, what I would do now is just straight away create another annotation because I'm, I know that Belmondo is going to start speaking again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So we can pull it a little bit because he doesn't start speaking immediately. And enter his text. Trouver pas que c'est important que je vous passe la cour. Okay, and here you can just extend the box so that it's all in one line by dragging the corners and then you drag it down as we've done with all the other ones. So I'll just do one more and don't forget to do this, to drag this back to, where, to the point where you stopped. Okay. So now... She starts speaking immediately. So I'll go back to his speech. Okay, and now we want to create another annotation with Anna Karina's text, which is and unfortunately I can't remember the uh, the out code, so I'll just find it out code. and it's out one four seven c'est drôle hein? okay and we do as we did with the others bring it into the middle and then push this back and actually I think I'll have it go a little bit more so now we can just watch to see how how this goes if we need to rectify it. Pourquoi vous m'attendez pas? Parce que j'ai des choses importantes à faire. Vous trouvez pas que c'est important que je vous fasse la cour? C'est drôle, hein? Okay. So that's it. I'm just going to go back to this subtitle. Right. So now I'll save this. Really, you, you need to do the whole video, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'll stop here. So I want to publish it. So view your video live. View on video page. Okay, so you see, you can see that they do look like subtitles. Of course, they're a little bit smaller than subtitles, but considering that these things are so easy to do and that they can create be a good tool for uh, teaching and learning of languages. I thought it was uh, valid to show you how to, to do it in, in an appropriate way. Uh, so that's it.